Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 Tramia career mode. Uh, today we round off September with a trip to the Hawthorne, take on West Bromwich Albion. Uh, before we return to Prenton Park, take on Sheffield Wednesday. And we are back on our travels after that, the Riverside this time, to take on Middlesbrough. So, not the best episode last time guys, we, uh, we got knocked out the League Cup. And uh, took one point from six in the league, which has led to us dropping down to eighth position. Uh, but if we do win that game in hand, we are potentially going to get back in the playoff spot. Uh, so let's get to it, guys. That's all the incentive I need as we take on West Brom. Uh, I don't think we have many changes to make. Looks like we're okay. Maybe Costa should come in for Ferrier, and I think that's just going to be it, boys. That three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Well there. Keen. Oh, it's just well to get past us, man. Strike saved by Johnson. It's going to be a... Uh... Oh, it's a penalty. He both... Yes, he brought it back. Booking for fifth or two. Did take him out. I was thinking, I mean... It could have been a pen. In the end, the ref does give us the benefit of that one. He's going to take it. It's clever, is on it? Oh, penalty taken. used to be Lovren. Keane looks like he's the best rated one at just 67. Oh my god. Our penalty record isn't great, guys. Come on, boys. We need a goal. Oh, he spoons it wide, boys. Fucking hell. It's been a problem in the past where I put it kind of like that in terms of arrows. And it's gone really central. This time it's just way wide. And unfortunately, big opportunity goes begging. Jay Rodriguez. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Delivered into the box. Oh, boys. Lico puts it in. Fucking hell. I can't stop conceding at the moment, guys. After uh, a number of clean sheets in a row, yet again, someone gets the wrong side of Ethan and Paddy, who are um, seriously considering dropping. Uh, it constantly seems to be him who's losing his man lately, boys. Keane. Oh, just cares on wide as a post. Win that. Tonali, chunk to Keane, yes Keane rifles it in boys, first goal for the club, get in boys, I know I am grabbing it, <laughs> but so be it, good work, eventually we were patient and played it across to Chong. feeds a nice little ball into Keane, one touch then bang, into the top corner, Moyes has been dangerous all game so far, the Loney delivering and uh, we are back in level terms more importantly guys, West Brom 1, Tramia 1. Dave Rodriguez. Now, can he take them on? Townsend. No, There's boys, no. Score. Oh, Lico does it's it again. Fucking hell. What a great He's header in. He was in acres at the place. back post Five and uh, oh, really well found in the end. Oh, fuck, they'll have no chance, guys. And Jonathan and Lico makes it West Brom at two, Tramia one. It was really well worked, though. It's to Chong. Chong. Oh, it's a post. Unlucky, Tim. Keane. Oh, what a strike, boys. It was well worth. I saw him lurking. And, uh, my God, boys, this guy looks like a fucking beast of a signing. And um, what a half this is. Two all. One touch is all he needs, boys. Absolutely bolts that one into the corner. And uh, anything Lico can do, Keane can do. Crap away, Keane. Now, there's our time, boys. Good off for the neutral, as I said. Um, I don't think necessarily for us. We didn't really play our best then. Uh, but we're the better team, as you can see. They only had two shots in total and fucking scored both. Classic FIFA game, that. Uh, we had seven to their two, three on target to their two. So, to be fair, we were quite ruthless ourselves. Although, we did a post as well at one point with Chong. Uh, there were no corners in the game. We tied for... Pass accuracy, both of 88%. So, God, keep going, boys. We can uh, cause these problems and attack, but we do need to shore up that defence. So, I'll, uh, I love this guy already. Oh, clever. What a bit of play that is. Oh, and he teed it up on a play for Moise. He's done well. It's somehow he puts that wide. I cannot get over it. I put finesse on it. It should have guided it in the corner. Oh, clever. He could even have struck it himself, Claire, but now he did everything right. 
cannot get over that miss. That was massive. Full of hat trick as well. In the first of the season. Oh, boys. Big, big opportunity goes begging. Now West Brom. Good punishers. It'd be classic. And they do. Every time they cross it in, it falls perfectly for the head of Jonathan Leco. For fuck's sake, he Patrick. beats Keane to the half trick when it should have been vice versa. And, uh, oh boy. Well, no Me men off the ball, just what's happening to them? Obviously, I wasn't controlling Morrison. Why is he running down there? Is it because they're in there from well, the wrong two, position? Just He's just so naturally drawn to centre back. Like Maybe he should chance. start playing um, Jacko down there. I don't know, but for sure, like, the, the player attack. AI positioning. From crosses this game has been absolutely dreadful. Um, if anything, it was the same Field. in some of the numbers to City as well. Possibly something West I need to get on to. As I say, boys, because it's cost us big time in this match. Guiding the pass through. We could have got through there, but the defender was Play absolutely bear. on top Great of ball. this game. Oh, gee, yes, lad, with the finish of the match. I don't really know. Uh, what the keeper was thinking in terms of his position and then but all about Kleber's ball in boys and uh, Archie's finish was pretty nice as well boy do we need that Wasted. Tonali Ed Morris come on Ed Aki get there the oh fuck's sake Game so finish. disappointing that we didn't really have a chance at three old boys uh, what a game though, it does finish 3-3, free, free. Uh, we draw yet again and it was so unlucky too, look at this, fucking, if ever there's a game lads that sums up FIFA, it's this, we had 11 shots today are free, 6 on target today are free, one of our shots hit the post as well, I wasn't on target, uh, we did miss a pen as well, penalties are just dog shit and it would have ended up in uh, being Keane's hat-trick, if anything in Keane should have scored 4 because he had that Lots of open goal he missed from uh, Kleber Menezes. Let's not pull any punches. It was such an easy chance. Uh, we had 88 percent, uh, sorry, 87 percent pass accuracy. The 88, no corners in the game. Amazingly, in the game, finished free up. And uh, we still have a lot of keeper saves. Man of the match fell for them, of course. Jonathan Leeko played a 10, got himself a hat trick. Um, they didn't make a sub, by the way. What the fuck? Uh, Keane, not too far behind, played 9.3. Chong got an 8.5. Uh, Alexander and Menezes get 9.1s. Goals, two for Keane and one for Archie. Two assists for Kleber and one for Chong. So, on to the next game against Sheffield Wednesday, guys. And uh, we did make a couple of changes to the team. It was uh, kind of enforced. Chong's a bit fatigued. I mean, uh, as you can see, quite a few of them are. But we just need the first team right now, boys. Uh, our form's not been great. Particularly defensively, I mean, looking at these all fatigued, it, it's a bit of a concern, that. Um, but we are going to rock with uh, these boys for now. As Lambic comes in for Chong, Ferrier comes in for... Uh, sorry, Aki comes in for Menezes and Ferrier pushes up to camp. Um, both of them drop out uh, to the resis as they are slightly more fatigued. And in uh, place come Banchu and Yamanaka. Goals on here, boys. We found a good one. To Aki. Aki, beat that in. Surely with the finish now. Oh my god, boys. How do we not put that in? Fucking hell. I'm not even sure who it was, but in the end, it was a brilliant save. Oh, that man was over there. We didn't make it past him, but good stop. Maybe should have gone for the other corner. I don't really know, boys. First real chance. And the corner is cleared by Wednesday. It's last on. Aki. Looks for Zlatan. Nice turn back to Aki. Yes, good finish, boys. Finally, we get the deserved lead. And it's uh, Mariak Baba who buries it eventually after good work by himself in the build up. And um, Zlatan to feed the assist. He gets it through here, Zlatan. It's a wearful to turn back, wait for it, gives it to Aki. And first time strike, boys. A lonely lesson after last time. Just smashes it past Lee Westwood, who had a good game. But he does find himself on a trailing side now. It's Chamber over his one, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Give him more. We were much the better team then. After a, a quiet first 20 minutes, we uh, really did accelerate as the half wore on. Five shots at two, five and targets turn on. They had a better possession and pass actually and more corners. However, going forward, we were always more of a threat. So frustrating. Chill like that happens a lot. 
We're in a good position now. We're in it. We are in a really good position here, though. Moise Keane, finish that for me, Moise. Yes, yes lad, he does. Wait for that ball. We got it. Slash on. Puts back inside. Again. Oh, Wonderful ball into chance. it. And again into Aki. That's the combination, boys, that's just formed in this game. Slat on to Aki. Look at him, he runs over. Yes, lad. I see a bit of uh, Ibra about you, Islamovic. Feeds it in. Oh, he just opens up his body. Buries it in the corner, boys. On a good time to make some subs. We go 3 0 up. And um, I mean, you know, we have conceded three last game, but. I feel like this game should be in the bag now, boys. We're going to take Keane off. Why is he there? I keep doing this if I go attacking. I need to, like, preset the teams from attacking. Because uh, they'd actually put him over there. But obviously it's work with Zlatan being up top. So I think to come, guys. Zlatan will uh, be our long-term striker from the looks of. Uh, Ferrier needs to come off elsewhere. So we're going to bring on Yama. I'm going to drop Aki back. Good vision here. And Ampadu's flat-footed. Ampadu... So bad lately. Oh, I do not believe that for lock, though, boys. Well, it's offside. So, a bit of counter to their lock to even get in that position. So, look at this. It hits TK. I mean, it, as you can see, he is well offside. I wanted to see what happened, you fuckers. Why would you then cut to this guy and show me what I've already seen? I think it hits TK, then Fructal, then the post. Or TK, then the... What happened there, boys? I can't even make out. So let's have a look at what happens here. This guy is obviously offside. Is it hit TK there? Is it a save? It's a great save from Fructal. Bounces off the post. He takes out TK. You could have maybe got across to it. In fact, probably would have. Scored no goal with TK there if he didn't get on it. Uh, <laughs> this guy bangs one in from a yard out. But he is an offside position, so... The queen sheet prevails, at least for now, boys. I'll be really happy if we keep on. What a vision. ball that is from Pilipetsi, boys. Oh, my word. I've just committed. Frucked him out. Well out, Ed. Yes, lad. One more chance. No, they haven't. Get in, boys. It is a clean sheet. Good win, that, as well. 3-0 helps the goal difference. A world of good, and um, it was deserved, although Wednesday he played uh, pretty well, that was 20 minutes then. Uh, they had 9 shots, so 7, we had 7 on target, 2 there, 4. They had the better possession, 55%, uh, more corners, 4 so they are 1, uh, they have more of the pass accuracy as well. But we did get the win, and uh, man the match goes to Hugo Zlamovic, Latans region, gets a 9.6. Uh, narrowly beats out Aki, his partner in crown, 9.5. Isaac gets an 8.4, probably got an assist. And uh, Moiskeen an 8.6. So, goals for uh, Moiskeen, two for Aki, assists. Oh, my God. Zlatan got all three? Yes, lad. Absolute G. Another training sesh, boys. Let's see how we get on. Uh, D and a C for Alexander, an A and a D for Zlatan, and an A for Ferrier. And Brewster, predictably, uh, Brewster does stay here for now. Uh, second month of scouting in Argentina. Let's see what we've got here, boys. Oh, this guy could be good. Valentin Abeledo. Let's sign him up. I've, uh, I've had a lot of luck with Abeledos in the past. I had an absolute beast of one at Bournemouth. You know, you, you do see the same names. Uh, Joaquin Correa, Correa could be good as well. Uh, we'll give him another month, though, I think. So it could be as low as 69 there. That's for the guys, two months in. We'll give them one more month. So here's Abelardo, guys. 17 years old, left back, comes in at 53. Yeah, another one that's physically strong. Um, he's not particularly quick, though, unfortunately. Uh, that aggression, 85. Yes, lad. It's stuck in. The stamina's good as well. Stand tackle and slide tackle aren't great. So, you know, we could train that. Let's make him a bit of a beast. Uh, I probably will just bring him in right now, actually, because... I think uh, one position we do need uh, across the board numbers in is defence for sure, uh, particularly full back. We have a centre, we have a right back at left back right now, and a centre back at right back. Uh, Jacko is the only back up at left back, the only real left back, so it, it does pay dividends to have another one in there, boys. 
Well, they've got some good individuals at the back. And no, boys, what a ball that is. Oh. It's a fast start here. Alan Smith just put the case on us, boys. We had the best defensive record in the division, apparently, going into this game. Uh, helped by the five clean sheets we had in a row at the start. Um, but since then, save the Wednesday game, the defence has been a bit rocky, boys, and uh, we were just completely caught open well, by what, what is, to be fair, a sensational ball. Look skipper. at that. Yeah, and the dummy up. comes in. Had Had to bring Fruchtel out, but yeah. Ledbetter buries yeah, it. And, uh, yeah, yeah Cam Ledbetter gives Middlesbrough the lead, boys. The first time they've really got up, but it is 1 0 to the Borough. Going forward well. well done, Farrier. The ball in. Oh, yes, lads. I did not expect him to get onto it, but Moist Keane equalises with an absolute beast of a header. Just glancing across the man. It was good work by Ferrier originally. Uh, fed it into Chong, who put a delightful ball in, to be fair. I did think it was going to be beyond Keane, but he just put it in the corridor of uncertainty, boys. This defender was backtracking off the pace. A Moise Keane arriving like a steam train. Got there ahead of him. It's his uh, fourth goal in the league. He had uh, scored a couple against West Brom, of course. I just completely forgot. But, oh, man. Good shit, Moise. It's a good fine. ball. Morris! Yes, Ed! Fucking it's ball ahead, the lad. His first goal for the club, I'm pretty sure, boys. And uh, what a time to come, right at the end of the first half. Oh my word, they just, uh, he had a man on the, they had a man on the post, the keeper in the centre. In the end, he just buries it past both of them. In between the two of them. Great corner in, boys. I don't do that a lot, but the in-swinger I always prefer. And uh, the first one I've done in ages, it seems. Does yield the goal. Good shit, Ed. Cleared by Flint. End the threat at least for the moment. So another corner, That's boys. Corner. Uh, we're going to do the same again. This time, though, we need left footer, so it will be Chong. It's stolen off from last time, not today. Swung in from the corner. It's towards Ed again. Morris, oh, he's done it again, boys. Yes, lad. That is the fucking combo I'm looking for from now on. Ed Morris playing it right back. The fucking beast. <laughs> Comes in, boys. Not scored for the club in fucking. How long has he been in the tide? I reckon about eight months now. And he gets two in five minutes. And uh, surely he's put this game beyond like Middlesbrough now. Oh, the of the jump Chung the saw Archie do it. Archie was like, step aside, mate. I'm taking this corner. That corner. That's what you need to do. Put it in the centre. The on the penalty spot. Twing it in towards Ed Morris. And he'll do that. And Chong's like, yeah, go ahead, mate. I'll try a bit of that. I fancy an assist. Good shit, lads. Really happy with this. Hello, Middlesbrough could be in now. Ed. Looking to get across. Get rid of this, boys. We all do. Good shit. All right, we won't do. It's Ledbetter. Into Johnson. Get rid. I'm pad. Oh, Tenali. What have you done, lad? I'm panicking here, boys. Middlesbrough have it still. Oh, the blocks favour them after Fox's sake. Johnny Halston makes it. Middlesbrough two, show me a three. And uh, five minutes after that goal, that came, boys. That's how long we were struggling to get rid then. Damn shame. Well, they were caught out oh, fucking hell, lads. Cannot stop conceding lately. And uh, Johnny yeah, Halson to, uh, gives there. them a the route back into the this uh, that they the don't deserve. It's only their second shot of the whole game. And their second goal. Morris. Head. Such a good game. Oh, pick that one again. Alexander, oh no boys, maybe should have gone for the first timer. In the end, the outside of the boot finesse shot is saved by the Borough keeper. Well in key. Jimmy, oh what a delightful ball that is. To slap hand. Oh, he should have finished it boys. That was Jimmy at his best. Wonderful little chip ball. Oh, it was last time. He took it down nicely. Oh, but completely drags that shot. Take the corner, boys, because uh, we've seen what we've done with these so far. He's going to make a change now. Uh, Slatan should really be in there, but whatever. I'll just give it to him. Corner in. in swinger works again. Oh, again, boys. I'm just setting everyone to do this from now on. It's TK this time. Who bangs on in? Oh my God, boys! Three headers from corners. It's uh, it's rare you see three headers and corners in ten episodes from me throughout this series, and we've done it in one game. Good shit, TK. Great ball in from Zlatan. He gets a uh, fourth assist in two games off the bench. 
And um, well, boys, that should be that now, surely. Vince control there. wasn't the best. Uh, full time whistle goes though, boys. It does finish Middlesbrough two, Tramia four. Uh, really good win that away from home against the side that I think will be up and around there come the end of the season and a well deserved win as well. Look at this, we dominated in uh, every start. 12 shots to their four, nine in target to their three. We had 55% of the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Four corners there, none. 85% uh, of the pass taxi to our 84%. The only question that remains is uh, what are we doing with our first corner, boys? Because <laughs> uh, we wasted it. Scored the other three. Ed, uh, it says at left back. Um, it's just a weird way. This keeps changing people's positions, boys. I, I don't understand it. If I go attacking or just change my like tactical approach, it does this. Um, but he, he did start a right back, I think. Uh, either way, he gets him on the match 9.4. Chong gets a 9.1. TK a 9. Uh, 8.8 for Archie. 8.1 for Ferrier. 8.6 for Keane. And then 8 for Zlatan. Uh, goals for 2 for Morris. Uh, one for Moise Keane and one for TK. Assists, two for Chong, one for Zlatan and one for Archie. So, end of the month shit, guys. And uh, this guy's been revised. Uh, he looks pretty damn good, boys. He's only 16. A left mid. Um, we do kind of need one. Uh, sorry to say that, man. <laughs> Bad timing. Um, we'll give it one more month. See what that revises to. You know, if it's something like 80 to 84, I probably won't bother. But he could be an exciting prospect. And uh, yeah, the, the overall is decent, I think. Oh, look at this guy as well. Right mid, 77 to 91, 52 overall. Uh, these all look pretty good, actually. Potentially, anyway. Yeah, we give them all favor time. Hello, uh, Bernard, most likely you're going to go. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt of one more month, though. Well, to England, guys, uh, probably should look at this first, actually. Five months in now for some of these boys. Definitely time to fuck them off. Not many substantial from England, guys. Although uh, these two could be decent. Look at the overall there. 40 to 56. Needs a lot of revision. He's only 15, though. 67 to 93. Uh, same with this guy. Roughly 42 to 58. And he's 16. But look at Ethan Shaw. Overall, 50 to 68. Potential 69 to 93. Only a month in. But I'm just going to get him in straight off. And uh, see what he's about, boys. Looked like he could have played all across the back. Oh, he's a left back. We have to sign one up. Fucking hello. Look how good physically he is, boys. Decent. They're always physically strong. I swear down. I'm not, like, specifying looking for that amongst defenders. But at 17 years old, 59, we know one more rating. We'll find out his potential. I might as well just promote him. Isaac Alexander's 69 rated already, boys. Oh, my word. Absolute G. I think Campardi went up and rated there, 72. Let's start memorising these more. Uh, this is the other guy, though, uh, we promoted. Valentin Abeledo. Uh, can only play at left back. He doesn't have other positions. Uh, he's two star, four star, medium high. So uh, that's pretty good, actually. But it does look like he's going to. Make way for Ethan Shaw, who's two star, three star though, medium, medium, so not quite as good in that regard. Six foot two, uh, he is left footed, but it says he can play it right back with a three star weak foot. Not entirely sure. I think I'd still favour Ed Morris, who can play right back and has a five star weak foot. Uh, and also Isaac Alexander, of course, is naturally right footed, uh, as well as Ethan and Pardo. Even he would be slightly better there, I think. Uh, so Ethan Shaw. May uh, may well be our long-term left-back, actually. Just depends how good that potential is going to be. Uh, we'll find out pretty shortly, boys. Going to train him, I think, for the next month, just to get him up to 60. Uh, Archie grew, for sure, to so 76. Aurelian, 71. Yes, lad. Aurelian's caught up with Claire unbelievably. Chong might have gone up in rating. His last hand did. And Harlan did. Good shit, boys. Uh, but that is it for the end of the episode, guys. We're just going to advance, see if there's any more notifications. I don't think so. And oh my god. Right, before we do that, look at this. We have all four Tramir players on the Player of the Month shortlist for September. We've been banging the goals in. That's why they're all up there. Um, despite conceding a lot. Uh, you know, there's other teams that were in better form than us, but... 
Maurice Keane, Taylor King, um, Ed Morris, and Archie Alexander. Uh, I swear down, Archie's on there every month. Uh, they're all nominees, so... Oh, boys, that's a first. Hopefully it's not a last. <laughs>